when we last left off, we had just declared war on Trebizond. And we're hoping this is going to be a quick war. Because A, we're kind of low on manpower. And B, I want to try and expand as quickly as possible right now. Because we started off slowly in the expansion process. And if you would like to see this live, I'm streaming it live at twitch.tv slash crossviking32. Uh, there will be a link down in the description below. And, uh, yeah. I guess let's get right into it. They do have a very small army. And Kratmia, I believe, killed Theodoro's uh, army as well. They had a very small one. That I think was only like 2,000 troops. As to where Trebizond has about... Uh, 6,000? 8,000? Something like that, I think is what we just saw. So, as soon as we can catch that army, they're dead. But I gotta siege down their capital first. Because that is the war goal. And that means it will get more ticking war score in our favor. Plus, we should be able to kill, if not take, a bunch of their ships from their navy. Which is always a plus. Because naval strength is a key to maintain. If I go to war with somebody over here, they can't cross the straits over here. Unless they get military access to go all the way around. Which, I mean, even then, that, that could kill their army just going around. Because they could be walking into provinces that can't even hold, like, 20 plus thousand troops. So... And we just converted a province. Convert another one. Sadly, I have a lot of orthodox provinces that I cannot convert for some reason. I guess I just, I don't have enough uh, missionary strength apparently. Which isn't that bad of a thing. Okay, go here, we're gonna start carpet sieging. We're gonna give Trebizond carpet burn from all the carpet sieges we're, uh, we'll be getting. Can I get another claim over here? No, I should probably stop building then. And let's detach, detach. There we go. I want to get some claims on Biopass so we can start uh, fighting them as well and taking up their land. Because I don't think any of my missions give me uh, give me claims on their land. I could be wrong. I don't think I have anything to expand up in this area. Most of my stuff is expand into like Mesopotamia and all that. Because, I mean, this is Trebizond. So, yeah, no, I don't have anything. Oh, I could probably move my uh, navy after this naval battle. And let's move them into here. Theodoro, you're going to... Uh, we'll protect our trade. You're going to Crimea. I just, I want you to know you're being annexed by Crimea. But I'm going to wait because I want to destroy your navy to hopefully capture uh, some of your ships. For the war effort. Also, my army needs to go down there. If you would please. And that should be the death of the Trebizond army. As well as the Theodoran Navy. As soon as we unsiege or re or siege, whatever. As we retake this uh, province. <laughs> and their navy's dead. I don't think we captured. No, we didn't capture a single ship. So give Theodoro back to Crimea, please. Only the Mamluks are getting mad with us, which is a good thing, less people to deal with. 
and now my army is back together. It is one whole army. And now we're going to eat up all of Trebizond. Yeah, we're going to eat all of Trebizond. I'm not giving anything else to anyone else. We're taking all of it. So yeah. And Trebizond is now dead. Oh, that's right. I don't own this province yet from Circassia. Or Circassia. I do have to expand there. Okay, now we gotta wait on some admin power to get back into our, uh... Uh, to be able to core all of the land we just took. I didn't realize we were that low. Well, th this is interesting. <laughs> Castile is at war with the Mamluks. Because they're trying to take a province from Tlemcen, I'm assuming. They're trying to take the province of Tala. I don't see the province of Tala. Like, I'm not completely... I'm not... Paula Imsen. Where is this province? Oh, it's right there. How do you have a claim on that? Oh, you have a... Oh, you consider that to be your core. Okay, well that makes sense. I don't know if I should join this, because they have- they're fighting the Mamluks. I mean, it's a way to get favors with them to bring them into one of our wars. Uh... You know what? I'm gonna join. I need my navy, though. Uh, I need all the galleys to come to this front now. As well as my army will have to come down here. And hopefully the unrest up here doesn't get too bad. Because I'd rather not lose my country to a bunch of rebels because I'm having to fight the Egyptians. Uh, who has the better siege? Neither one of y'all. But I think this can hold 22. Yeah, they can hold 24 people. I'll hold off. I'm gonna save all my money for right now. Uh, this might not be a bad idea to just blow open the hole. I didn't have a leader. I, did my admiral just die? I could have sworn I had an admiral on this dude. It left the admiral on... That is so stupid. Why? Why? It left the admiral on my transports. What is the point in doing that? Uh, I will take the diplomatic tech cost. Can't afford to lose any more stability. Man, that's slightly annoying. We would have won that battle too, because we had, I think, 20 galleys in this uh, fleet right here. I think it was 20, it was 18, something like that. 18 to 20 galleys. That would have been nice, because we would have won that uh, naval battle right there and been able to start blockading their ports. I'm gonna have to hope that Spain's army can just murder uh, this whole western side of Africa right now. Although it doesn't look like their army's strong. Because I believe they just lost a battle. Yeah, they lost a... <laughs> they lost a pretty big battle. 30,000 versus 21,000 they lost. I mean, that makes sense. 
but it's Spain. Their army should be better than that. Also, I'm just going to start carpet sieging all of the Egyptian territory over here. So, one, two, three, four. Move 18 stack there. And start sending the 1000 stacks to their respective places as well. Uh, no military access, please. And now we're occupying uh, their territory over here. Hopefully, uh, Castile gives us provinces. If we end up winning the war, I hope we get provinces. Uh, I'll, I'll lose the corruption. I don't need that one. I'd rather not uh, lose tax money. We are getting 10 ducats a turn. Or not a turn, a month. And, uh... Uh, I will gain the 10 prestige. Which is a good thing. It could obviously be better. But we are having our inflation going up. Um... Can any of these provinces hold 22,000 troops? You can. I did not mean to grab you. You stay here. Uh, I could probably raise war taxes, but we're good right now. We're making some money. I don't see that. It, I don't think it's a necessity to raise the war taxes yet. Let's get a claim on Emirati. Got the highest development. And we're waiting until we can core Trebizond, which is now. I have a feeling if we win this war, we're just going to have to sit back and let... And hope for our... Uh, um, hope for everything to recover. Because we're going to recover our admin power in case we are given any provinces over here. And we're going to just recover our, essentially our manpower, because I have a feeling our manpower is going to keep going down. I'm not really worried about our money. And our fleet seems to be a little bit fine. Although I will build some more galleys. That hopefully don't get killed by their, uh, the Mamelukan Navy, or the Egyptian Navy. And let's grab a new general. He's a 0162. He has siege. That's the only thing he's going to be used for. Is siege. Which we just got offensive ideas. So if we get one of the things gives it, that gives us a plus 20% siege ability. We should be knocking down forts pretty good with them. Okay, and now on to the next fort. And we're going to use you. Carpet Siege. These provinces. This is the fun part of dealing with the Egyptian army. While they're fighting Castile. And leaving their army right here. They're not worried about us. Now their navy, on the other hand, is actually pretty strong. <laughs> so we just gotta hope Castile can win their wars, or their battles, over on the western side of Africa. Over in Tlemcen. Well, okay, thank you Crimea, you actually siege down the province for once. I wasn't expecting them to siege it down. Okay. Hop on there. Well, there goes a 1k stack of troops. <laughs> but it's fine. We should kill that army. Or at least send it on its way. They killed 1,000 soldiers, and that's about all they did. 
and now we're losing money. Okay, Georgian Separatists, I don't have time. Uh, we're just gonna harsh treatment you. I don't have time to deal with you. Also, why are we losing so much money? Our army maintenance is going up because of uh, reinforcements. So if we raise the war taxes, okay, we're making money again. Also, I do have to put back on... Who just died? I don't know which of these died. I guess we'll find out. Uh, crap. Go help them. I hope I didn't just kill my army. <laughs> I might have just, I should have just left Spain to deal with themselves. Honestly. Although we did beat them. Are we ahead in military technology? Let's see, we're tech nine. Yeah, we are ahead. That's why we're winning. Okay, that makes sense. And I'm gonna blow a hole, make it quicker. Although we are out of manpower. And this is not the fun thing. I do not want to be out of manpower for long. I really, it's going to take a while to recover our armies without having manpower. Okay, toward that province. Okay, now we're getting all of those cord. We finished sieging down the fort on Al Karak. Uh, apparently my trade fleet took a hit. That's why we're losing money. My trade fleet took a hit. Now that makes sense. Because I believe I was making a good bit of money from trade, actually, for once. I think I was making a solid... 20 ducats or something like that? I'm down to 9.80. It was in the double digits, so... I took a pretty massive hit there. Origin Separatist, just go away. Uh... I still want to wait on the technology so I can get caught back up. I'm gonna save my money just in case we start losing money again. And we're gonna go kill this army. Uh, let's just send them on over just in case. Yeah, because they're bringing a 27 stack into the battle. And now everybody else is going to war. No, I'm sorry, Ragusa. No, I'm sorry. I can't join that war. I'm already fighting a big war that I might lose, I don't know. They do have a crossing. Okay, we won that battle. I'm just going to have... Oh no, I don't remember which one it was. It was this one. Go there. That should be the 12, 12k stack dead, maybe? I might have to go back and help. Unless, well, Crimea will get in. Okay, now we won. Oh boy, our army. Our army is so low. So the Egyptian army is now on the east. They've left the west. So Castile is just sieging down everything over there. Meanwhile, we're over here getting killed. Uh, okay, I can actually kill that fleet. I didn't catch it in time. But that's 14 galleys. I should be able to kill the 14 galleys. Now, I don't know where their main fleet is.
Oh no, it's 10 galleys of light ship and, a, and 3 heavies. And where did all my morale go? Good gosh. All my morale just disappeared the second I jumped onto that navy. Come on, I just want to siege down this one fort. Just go away. Send your army back to the west. <laughs> I'm getting so close to sieging it down. Just leave your army in the west. Fight Castile. They're more important. Go fight Castile. <laughs> Finally. Okay. Go here. Actually, no. Go here. Okay, we gained two core provinces from Trebizond. And now go jump onto that army. This is going to be a tougher battle to win. We might be able to win it. I'm not entirely sure if we'll be able to win this. Uh, If we keep getting our good... Okay, we won. I was about to say, as long as we keep getting those good rolls, we were going to win that battle. And I went over the time again. Uh, I appreciate all y'all watching this video. If you would like to see more... Uh, please hit the like button and subscribe to see more of the content or if you would like to see this live I'm streaming it live at twitch.tv slash crossviking32 and we are watching my army get murdered now so this is fun <laughs> and so I hope to see you all in the next video goodbye